Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to Pup Hunt Enters the Race. So last time, we learned there's some uh, weird shenanigans going on around Car Town. We've got not just a bug infestation, but we've got like, uh, Mrs. Airbag is like apparently a witch who's growing cereal trees in her yard, and it's, all sorts of stuff is happening. The litter problem is being fixed, thanks to Pup Hunt's single-handed uh, <laughs> help. And now we're at uh, Torval's farm. We gotta pick up some vegetables for Mr. Baldini, and by that I mean literally free vegetables. One of each. It's incredible. So, let's start and go to the farm. I need to be on the lookout for the veggies for Mr. Baldini. So, this is a little mini-game here where we can drive around Torval's farm and try to find the, the types of vegetables we need. So right now we need a tomato, a ear of corn, and a piece of broccoli. Literally one of each. Yeah, I don't know why. And for some reason, Torval's like, Oh, I think I know the best way to make my farm. Let's make it the giant maze. So yeah, you literally have to navigate this maze that he has laid out for us in order to get all the stuff. So like, that's the only tomatoes he's planted, and those are in a very difficult to reach spot. But let's start by going down this way, because we got broccoli right here that we need Look, to pick. Broccoli! I've got to get one for Mr. Baldini. I better pick it. A lot of people got annoyed by this mini game. I personally really liked it as a kid. I like exploring the farm. I like uh, navigating to find all the different things. So Torval's growing a lot of stuff. There are beets there, pumpkins, broccoli. Those are zucchini, purple cabbage. Uh, no, I didn't want to minimize the window. I wanted to drive up. It's got catchy farm music as well. So, uh, full disclosure, I don't really remember where to go to get all the different types of fruit and veggies in here. It's been a while since I've played this. Nope, that's a dead end. <laughs> this is where the Minotaur was kept. Oh, the Minotaur will never escape from a vegetable maze. Uh, we got a fruit orchard up here. I don't think there's anything, any veggies. There's apples. Oh, okay, there are two different ways to go. Okay. Oh, uh, let's try this way first. Oh, sweet. So this is where his corn is growing. He doesn't have a whole lot of corn. Just this one little plot. Corn! I need some of those for Mr. Baldini. I better pick some. Torval seems to be growing a lot of pumpkins, a lot of cabbage, and a lot of beets. None of them I'm over overly fond of. Cabbage is alright. Broccoli is gross, though. <laughs> but I think if it's funny, like, Torval's like, Oh, I guess some people want me to grow tomatoes. Let's grow them in the most out-of-the-way part of the entire map. And only one plant. Uh-oh. He's also got a nice vineyard here of all these grapes. Wonder what those are getting made into, eh? Grape juice pot-pot. It's all the rage in Car Town. That arrow's telling us to go down there, but I don't trust that. I think the arrows point to the way out. Oh, where is it? Oh, yes! We reached hey, the end of the maze. Tomatoes! I've got to get some for Mr. Baldini. I better pick some. Great! I found everything for Mr. Baldini. He'll be so excited. <laughs> yeah, so uh Mr. Baldini, the the produce he wants you to get every time, uh generally changes and it gets harder the more you do it. So this is actually supposed to be one of the easier ones, even though the tomatoes and corn are in pretty out-of-the-way places. The broccoli's, like, right next to start. Oh, fun. <laughs> yeah, Torval, I don't know who taught you about the best way to farm, but making your crops into a maze is not the best way to go about it. It says farm. Yes, it does, Putt-Putt. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> I enjoy that minigame. Most people do not. Hey, man. Hi, Torval Tractor. I'm back. You sure are! I found all the things Mr. Baldini wanted! Good for you, Putt Putt! <laughs> Good for you! I can't believe anybody navigated the maze that I made! I better make it harder next time! He puts in, like, barricades all over the place. Check it out! I found all the things Mr. Baldini wanted! Good for you, Putt Putt! <laughs> Flashlight! I put those three batteries in it! Yeah! <laughs> Out at Torval's farm, the vegetables are popping up and the fruits are filling in. The latest report is that the crops are above average and real good looking this year. Drive on out and take a look. <laughs> and take a vegetable. So Torval is like the only guy in town who's actually growing crops. And people just come in and can take them for free? How does he make a living? 
Seriously, no wonder he lives in an actual barn. Like, he doesn't have a house. That's just a barn. Holy cow. And it's like, Mr. Baldini's like, Oh, Torval, can I go in the, to your farm and uh, pick up some produce for free so I can sell it not for free? It's like, oh, sure, Mr. Baldini. He's just a really simple soul, I guess. <laughs> hey, play me a song, Torval. I have a little song about a vegetable tasty. I plant it and I grow it and I call it zucchini. It makes me laugh to say a name so fancy free. So I plant it and I grow it and I call it zucchini. Zucchini is actually pretty good. How do you like the fields, Pot? But folks say my crops are above average and real good looking this year. They look great, Torval. Maybe Torval, the reason he plants his crops in a maze is because he doesn't want people picking them for free. So he's like, oh yeah, you can pick them if you can find them. <laughs> and like, find your way out. <laughs> The arrows are left by other people who... If you want to grow up big and strong, always feeling fine, try some of my spinach, it's great anytime. All leafy and so green, it really hits the spot. Spinach is the vegetable that can help you grow a lot. Spinach is pretty great. I like it more than lettuce. I was saying, uh, the, pe the arrows on the ground that are pointing to the way out, those are left by other cars that got lost in there for years. Thankfully, they had veggies to eat. I love to eat the summer squash all mashed up in a pot or sliced up on my plate. I've got to eat a lot of all the vegetables I grow deep within the ground. I have to say that summer squash is the best I've ever found. Yeah! I think we've already heard that one. All right, well, thanks for your songs, Torval. I might be back later to pick more of your f produce that you worked hard to make uh, for free. So, when we last went in the tunnel, oh yeah, by the way, you can go into this side of the tunnel without needing to honk, which is weird. Uh, we ran over something in here, but we couldn't see it. I wonder what that is in the road. If only I could see in here. It's so dark. Puppet's eyes are visible because they're his headlights. Maybe. But now we can use the flashlight because it has the batteries in it to look around. It's a hook! I bet it's the one that Pete Crane lost! Yeah! I'm surprised Pete Crane could even fit in this tunnel. It's barely big enough for Papa to go in. How the heck does he fit in there? What the heck? <laughs> Secretly, Torval Tracker's making the tunnel narrower and narrower to stop people from picking stuff on his farm. <laughs> this is canon. <laughs> Man, this is a surprisingly deep game if you actually think about all of the lore uh, from a... <laughs> this is great. This is such a great game. Yo, so, Maxi, I got a joke. Yeah, what else is new? Okay, so try me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Olive. Olive who? I love you, man. <laughs> Olive, oh, you man. yo. <laughs> I get to get wait, wait, in. Wait. <laughs> Yo, so Slapsy, I got a joke. Yeah? What else is new? Okay, so try me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Little old lady. Little old lady who? She's, I didn't know you could yodel. You're the way you. Oh, I guess I could. <laughs> yeah, that's a classic. Hey, Pete. Put, put, you're back. Yep, and guess what, Pete? I think I found your hook back in the tunnel near the farm. Oh, put, put, I hope that's really my hook. I can't wait to see it! <laughs> oh, by the way, look what I picked at Total's Oh. I found everything for Mr. Baldini! He'll be so excited! You literally picked free vegetables. It's nothing to brag about. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. This is your hook. No, it's not! That's someone Here's else's. Here's the hook, Pete! Is it yours? Is it ever? But but you are a great pal! Why don't you hook it back on me, and I'll get these pipes moved? Yeah, it's about time you did something. Papa has to go and do Thanks, everyone's chores. But, but, what the heck? Okay, stand back. I've got work to do. Do you now? <sighs> Thanks. Now we can go to the other part of town. All clear. Thanks again, Putt Putt. It sure feels great to be able to work again. You're welcome, Pete. <laughs> He's so happy now. Good luck at the Car Town 500 race, Putt Putt. I know you'll do great. Thanks, Pete. It's going to be fun. Yeah, everyone's on my side. Everyone is apparently betting on me. This is great. 
So welcome to the next part of Car Town. We've got something this is something we've never seen before. So we've got the recycling plant over there. We've got uh, the tow, uh, Chuck's tow truck uh, tire area over here, and we got ice cream down here. What? Says ice cream. This is apparently the futuristic part of town. This is great. Let's go get some ice cream. We deserve it. And look who it is! It's Rover Rocket Drive-In! I haven't seen my friend Rover in a long time. Hi, Putt-Putt. What'll it be? Hmm, I'm not sure yet, Rover. Also, I just love Rover has opened an ice cream parlor in the rocket that we took back from the moon. What? This is such great continuity! Oh my gosh, Rover is one of my favorite pup pup characters, and I'm very happy to see him back. Hey, Rover, do you mind if I take this bottle for recycling? Of course not. It's all yours. Thanks. Yeah, Rover, I'm disappointed in you littering. Or maybe it's one of your customers you did. There is magic going on around, <laughs> around Car Town. I knew it! Mrs. Airbag is definitely behind this. Actually, maybe she's not. Maybe magic is just happening to her. Who's the real magician behind here? <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, there's not a whole lot of stuff to click around here, I just realized. Hey, Rover. Uh, what have you got to drink these days, Rover? Only the best, Putt-Putt. We've got giant jumbo milkshakes and delicious icy cold milk. Um, what do you have in the fruit punch department? Do you have Sprite? I what have you got Sprite. to drink these days, Rover? Only the best, Putt-Putt. <laughs> That's real helpful. I'll have a giant jumbo milkshake, please, Rover. Best and biggest in car town, Putt-Putt. Coming right up. He just had one already made for us. Here you go. Thanks. What do I owe you? Are you kidding? I owe you. I mean, you're the guy who brought me back from the moon. It's free to you, Putt-Putt. Always. Gee, Rover, that's really nice. Oh, Rover, we are going to abuse that so much. Uh, I love milkshakes. <laughs> Apparently, do you have any flavor other than a uh, strawberry from the looks of it? Oh my gosh, Ro Rover just has the, the coolest tools in his uh, moon buggy. Like, he, he has the crane, he's got the welding torch, it's great. I'll have a carton of milk, please, Rover. Freshest you'll find anywhere, Putt-Putt. Coming right up. <laughs> I milked him off from the cow on Torval's farm. He gives you everything for free. <laughs> there you go. That's really cold. Thanks, Rover. I think I'll save it for later. Oh, yeah. So the milk we actually get is an item because we're going to need it later. Also, I guess Rover, he, maybe he gets the milk from Torval's cows, but he puts them in his own carton. So, technically, he is adding something to the overall product. And he's also still giving them away, to, at least to us, for free. But doggone it. What wait. do you think of the remodel job I did on the rocket? It looks as good as new, Rover. Better than when we flew it back from the moon. Yeah. But here's my thing. There are all of these green bottles lying out. Something is served in them. What is served in them? It's clearly not milk. It's clearly not the milkshakes. You've got soda pop back there. I know you do. I want me some Sprite, please. Either that or these are just all of the bottles that Freddy Fish found in the ocean and then they washed up on the shore of Car Town. One or the other, you decide. I personally don't really know what happened. Okay, let's go over here. Are you serious? Everybody's littering! Wow, a bottle! <laughs> I should recycle this! We are gonna be rich! Wow, everyone's just so lazy and can't take it over to- well, to be fair. Actually, no, you know what? Chuck has no excuse. He lives right next to the recycling plant. He easily could have gotten them there. Super speedy radial racing tires! Those are the kind Redline Rick told me I need to enter the Car Town 500. Yeah, you do. Uh, can we just take them? The sign says, close. I need to help Chuck fix his tire so he can get back to work here at the tire center. Yeah, uh, otherwise we're going to have some trouble. Great! It's a tire patch kit! Chuck said I could take one so I can help him patch his tire. Yeah, everything is free for Putt-Putt, except car washes and uh, now, changing his color. Now, all I have to do is go find some scissors so I can cut it out. Uh, you can just put it right on, it's fine. <laughs> Hi, 
Mr. Crankcase. Well, bust my bump if it isn't Putt-Putt. Here, look at all the junk, eh? Yeah? Mm-hmm. I guess so. There sure is a lot of it. Yeah? Isn't it great? <laughs> Man, you've got a lot of junk here, Mr. Crankcase. Um, thanks, Putt-Putt, I guess. Whoa! <laughs> uh, you might want to do something about this, good sir. This doesn't seem very nice. Oh, there, this is the one trash can in town. No wonder people don't want to throw stuff out. There's a creepy cat living in there. Hmm. It looks like this machine recycles old bottles. Maybe I should put my bottles in there. Yeah. Let's recycle some. Because in this game, you actually do need uh, money. I'll need to put in two more bottles before I can recycle them. In the other Papa games, money was kind of optional. Actually, I'll need to put in one more bottle before I can recycle them. Actually, no, they weren't. You had, you needed two coins at least in the first game to get a car wash so you could join the parade. Uh, you needed the ten moon crystals in the second game, so never mind. You also need the nickel in uh, Travels Through Time, so you need money more in this game than in the others. So you need four in order to complete the game. And if you want to show off all the other stuff, you're going to need an additional five. Great! I got a coin! This Yee. recycling machine sure is neat! So, yeah, we're just gonna recycle all our bottles, and the escape key can really help speed things along. So, yeah, I had nine bottles in my inventory. Nine people littered their stuff on the ground, so now I have free coins, but I still need more. Excuse me, Mr. Crankcase, this sure is an awfully big mess. Whew! You're selling me! Accidentally bumped into those shelves this morning and nearly twisted my lug nuts. I can hardly bend over to put all that stuff back on the shelf. Oh, don't worry. I can put it back for you. You do that, and I'd be more tickled than a newly tuned turbo engine. Have to warn you, though. There's only one way everything fits. Stuff was packed in there pretty darn tight. Okay, Mr. Mm. Crankcase. I'll remember that. So this is a little minigame we have to do. We get all this junk on the ground. We gotta put it all back on the shelf. And a lot of it's pretty simple, like, the, there's only one place that the trumpet's gonna fit, and that's right there. And, like, the umbrella, yeah, it's pretty obvious that has to go there. We've got an accordion. Oh, I... <laughs> the accordion, oh boy. You've got a vacuum cleaner here that has to go there. Iron. A bicycle pump, I believe? And now this is where it starts to get a bit trickier, because stu as stuff gets smaller, there's fewer opportunities of where it can go. But that, like, that has to go there. This doesn't seem to be able to go anywhere, which is interesting. Boot has to go there. Telephone. So, like, for example, you can put the cork there, but the cork has to go there. So there is really only one spot where everything fits. The duck has to go there, which is kind of interesting. Boom. Well, it's all done, except I can't find a place to put this old gas can. Well, pop my tires. Where did that old thing come from? Far as I'm concerned, you can keep it, but, but if you can use it, that is. I sure can. Now I can save some high-powered, high-octane gasoline for the race. Thanks a lot. No, thank you. You're the one who needs to be thanked. You're very welcome, <laughs> You're Mr. very Crankcase. correct. I was glad to be able to help you. <laughs> Mr. Crankcase is right. We did all of the work. And he's like, oh, well, there's this, there's this terrible, like, junky piece of equipment here. You can have that, but, but, thanks! He's, Papa's too nice. He's getting taken advantage of. Everyone's like, oh, Papa, you want to be really helpful to us? It's like, yeah, I love being helpful. Can you t pick up our littering? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Oh boy, Papa, you gotta stand up for yourself. Oh, hi. I heard you want nailers. Um, please tell me about that. Hi, Betsy Bulldozer. Hey there, but, but what's up? Nothing much, Betsy. Just getting ready for the Car Town 500. Ooh, get my engines revving just thinking about it. It's an awesome race. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> Are you joining the race too, Betsy Bulldozer? Wait. Says free bricks. Those must be the bricks from the old building that used to be here. I think I'll take one. Free bricks? Are you serious? Free bricks? Do you know how awesome bricks are? 
it's fun. They wow, why can't there be free bricks in real life? They're so amazing. Let's it's chuck one. It's a brick. <laughs> yes, it is. It's a brick. It's a brick. It's a, it's a brick. It's a brick. Tasty treats to tantalize your tummy. You'll find them at Rover's Rocket Ice Cream. Dive on in today for a cool, frosty milkshake or a delicious carton of milk. Okay, if I just want to say, if there was an actual place in the world called Rover's, uh, <laughs> what was it? Rover's Rocket Treats or? <laughs> Whatever. I already forgot. That was a great name, though. I would totally go there. That would be amazing. Ooh, that's how you build cheese. Did you know that you can build cheese? Now you do. More bricks! This is great. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> you want to make toast, kids? You gotta have blueprints to make toast. Dig, dig, dig the dirt, make a muddy pile. Roll it around that dirt on the ground, digging makes me smile. So this actually, I don't think this is a construction site, this is a demolition site. You're just digging... <laughs> She's just digging the same hole over and over again. Dig it up, 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 dig it. Dig it up, up. Car body good. How does Puppet even ingest milk and milkshakes? He's a car. Do they have digestive systems? Also, I should not have drank that. Because you're we're gonna need that for something else. It's a brick. I wanna throw it at her. Excuse me, Betsy. Do you mind if I pound in some of those nails back there? Not at all, my putt. In fact, I could use some help. Got a load of these cheap nails. They keep popping out left and right all over the place. If you could smack them back in for me, you'd be doing me a huge favor. Okay, Betsy. I'll give it a try. You're using cheap nails that pop out after you hammer them in? Uh, you gotta get different nails, Betsy. Wow, if you're gonna build a house and the, the nails, nails are popping out, that's how it's gonna last for the long. Here I go. Here's another mini game. We gotta pound those nails. Uh, I don't know what the tape measure's for. So, if you can hit them dead on, they go farther in. Whereas, okay, if you hit the side, they don't go in very much. Also, if you hit. You can also bend the nails if you don't hit. Yep, just like that. You can bend the nails if you hit them too far away from the center, in which case, swap to this hammer, which is the same hammer, it's just you tilt it and you can straighten them again. <laughs> wow, those nails really are. I better terrible. get to work. Ready? Go! Yeah, so we actually do have to do this minigame for this path. If we want to get the safety helmet for Pep, we've got to get... we got to hammer some nails. How many kids wanted to become carpenters because of this minigame? I hope a lot. It's not the most riveting gameplay. Here comes some more nails! But it's a job Ready, that has to get done. Go. How many levels do we have to do, or do we just have to quit eventually? I'll go past level 5, but after that, I'm stopping. Because I think you... I wanted to say you only have to do it one two or three times, and then you get the reward. But maybe you have to physically leave. Maybe you can be like, Betsy, I'm going on strike. I'm not doing any more of your dirty work. Everyone's taking advantage of Putt-Putt. This is not fair. This is a like child labor. I've got to pound all these Don't we have child in. labor laws? Here I go. Not in Car Town. I know it's not a case of, like, she's making him work. He, he offered. Putt-Putt is such a good kid. Holy cow. Puppet is more of an adult than I am. He's he's even living on his own. He has his own pet that he's responsible for. He's not making a steady income, but he can still pay for bills and afford all the stuff he needs to. Okay, I'm not doing. I've anymore. got to pound all these nails in. Here I go. No, you know what, Betsy? Enough is enough. Should we stop playing now? Yes, yes, we should. Hey, Betsy, give what, me something. Betsy Bulldozer, I nailed in every last 
one of them. Now, why am I not surprised? Good work, Putt Putt. Say, I don't have much to give you, but I'd like to give you a kind of thank you gift. How about this genuine Junior Cartoon Construction Crew safety helmet? Don't think it'll fit you, but it'll look great on your dog. Thanks a lot. How Pat did you get a helmet big that big? Who has a helmet the size of a tiny dog? Nobody. How does that even work? I'm, the more I play this, the more I'm convinced that everyone actually secretly hates Putt Putt and they're making him do all this work for them. And Red Wine Rick purposefully, just to save face, is like, oh, I should I should send an invite to Putt Putt at the literally last second. By the way, Putt Putt, you need all this stuff, including a helmet for Pep in his size that nobody will ever have. And he wasn't counting on Betsy Boulders or having one. <laughs> that That's what I'm getting out of this game now that I'm playing as an adult. Also... Can I just say, there, there used to be a house here, and they, just, they blew it up, knocked it down, we're giving out the bricks for free, and now she's digging a conspicuous pit where the house used to be. Why? Is there, like, buried treasure here, and, like, <laughs> they blew up the house to try to get at the treasure? That's what I'm thinking happened. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today. So, folks, thanks so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. If you tune in next time... We'll be doing some more stuff in the game. That's real descriptive. Um, we actually... I'm not sure if we'll finish the game next episode, but we'll get pretty darn close at the very least, because we already have two out of the four fiends we need, and we're about to get the other two. So it actually might... No, it might not be the last episode, because I still want to show off the car wash and the coloring uh, studio. So look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.